There are 31 official aircraft in the game, along with the Citroen 2CV for some reason. These aircraft include the 737-700, the A350-900, the 777-300ER, the Concorde, and the A380. There are also a lot of community-made aircraft like this A319 that you can access, but many of them do not live up to the official aircraft standards. All official aircraft, except maybe one or two, have live cockpits, but you cannot interact with things in the cockpit. I am currently using the free trial for HD graphics. This improves the scenery quite a bit. The subscription costs around $10 a year, which is not bad. You can fly all over the world, which is pretty cool, and with the HD graphics, everything looks fine. You can even get 3D buildings in some areas if you go into the settings and turn it on, although it can cause a lag sometimes. This is me flying around in the New York area. Another cool feature about this sim is that you can even use a joystick with it. I didn't use mine for this video because I didn't have it on me, but it is very cool that you can use one. Well, I think this flight sim is quite impressive because it is just running in your browser, but I do think that there are some alternatives. If you have a computer that can run FSX well, which many of you probably have as the requirements are quite low, I would recommend getting FSX as it is only $24.99 and as many scenery and aircraft mods that you can install for free, and you will probably have a better experience. If you enjoyed the video, liking and subscribing would be greatly appreciated. Have a great day.